For the Kindle book for bread? Yeah. Yes. Nice day. Get our How to Make Homemade Bread Kindle book for you. Dun dun dun! We can do more visual effects with our live stream people. That'd be cool. Oh, hey, Becky! <coughs> oh, are we live? <coughs> I think we're live. Hello. No, this is the How to Make Soap channel. <laughs> looking, looking, looking. Watermelon I, and Fisherman's Way. We are live! Go well together. Oh, what? Stephanie, Amy, Mary, <laughs> Bonnie, Kathy, <laughs> Wendy, Julie, Becky. That's Is it Julie or Julie? <laughs> Julie. Lexi, Nancy, Jennifer, Christine. All right. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see who's over here. Okay, um, oops. Okay, so. <clears throat> You're gonna have to show me how to do that again. <clears throat> Today we are making <coughs> homemade bread. Share it to a page? Yeah. Okay, I think I can do this. Group. And we are making homemade bread because everyone in the Save on Groceries Facebook page, save, just save. Nope, not how makes some. Oops. Oh. <laughs> on, our save, <coughs> on our Save on Groceries Facebook page, I've been talking about <coughs> how to make bread. So that's what we're going to do today. If Mom can keep her confidence. If I can get together. Get it together, Tara! Get it together, people! <laughs> no, I am the get it together queen. Oh, I see. So, does that make me the king or the heir apparent? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So, I'm looking at our grocery list over here, and Jack wrote, Who stole my milk? I take it he wants milk on the he list. He wants milk. <clears throat> Alright, so, here we go. Hi, everyone. This recipe is Shalom. on our website. Living on a dime. Oh, right. I it will is share in, it. Now, this recipe is not in our Dining on a Dime cookbook, but it's very similar. What? To the basic bread dough. It's very similar to this. Now, this recipe I'm making today is my great grandmother's recipe. Woohoo! Jennifer says you sound sick, Tara. <clears throat> I am very sick. Waiting for the drugs to kick in. This recipe got my grandmother through the depression. Ooh. So it is a great recipe. Through that crippling um, depression? <clears throat> Mike is gonna put a link. <laughs> Did you hear that? Through the cripple and depression, yes. I'm gonna put, put a link for the bread. So, if you guys want more bread recipes, we have an ebook that we wrote <clears> that's called How to Make Homemade Bread. Dining on a Time Cook. But it's Wait, only what? a Kindle book. Um, so, I'm sharing the link for that now. It's at Amazon, it's $2.99. We learned from our first mistake on our books. You don't name it cutesy names. You name it what you want people to search for. <laughs> so it's how to make homemade bread. We have a whole ebook dedicated to it. Great deal. <clears throat> okay. Diana Dime Cookbook, page 71. Not the same exact recipe, but really similar. Oh, man. Okay. So. <clears throat> Lorelai said, oh my goodness, just checked my email and found out you were live. Yay. Hello. We were hoping that the word would get around. A lot of people liking your hair, saying super, <clears throat> super cute. Yep. Thank you. Well, I got it cut today, and I don't like it, so that's why it's up. I see. Um, so I'm going to be going back to her saying, "I'm sorry, I don't like it." A couple okay. people saying <clears throat> sick again. No, still sick. <laughs> She's she hasn't unfortunately gotten better. Although, man, I feel like I have, and I was only sick <laughs> for one day. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> now, I've already made this recipe two other times because I had to get them rising in the oven so you could see. So, let's get started here. You're going to need some hot water. Uh, now, <coughs> is it hard to make bread, dear? No. It is not hard to make bread, Michelle. Or Leanne. <laughs> Dun, dun. 
Dave, Sacred Wonders Maine is asking, how are you? And an are antibiotics still a problem? Yeah. <clears throat> we took him off the antibiotics. <clears throat> but he's doing okay at the moment, isn't he? So, Wednesday night, I took BJ to the ER, and then Thursday morning, I had to take David to the doctor. Yeah, it's been an adventurous week around here, but I'll tell you guys about that in a little bit. <clears throat> okay. So, <clears throat> BJ's fine. Don't worry about it. BJ's fine. Um, okay. So, I've got my water here. Very warm, except that's not warm enough. Yeah. Hold on. I need to get a little bit warmer. So, you can see I can stick my finger in here and not have it so warm that I can't keep my finger in there. That's too cold, actually. <clears throat> So uh, I'm going to share the link to where this bread recipe is on our website, and uh, it's the one that says five ingredient bread recipe, and it's Great Grandma Schuler's bread recipe. Um, it's not actually in the book, but Tara mentioned one in the book that she said was similar. <clears throat> yeah, page 71. It's really close to the same one. Okay, there we go. Now. You want it about 110 to 115 degrees. 110 degrees is you can put your finger in and it's just barely uncomfortable. 115 is you put your finger in and you're really thinking about pulling it out, okay? Now, you want to, before, <clears throat> before you um, make your bread, you want to proof your yeast. And all proofing yeast means is that you dissolve your yeast in some hot water and make sure that it um, starts growing, okay? Hey, out of Goshen, what's up? Hey, guys, I saw you were getting ready to go on your trip. Did you actually get going today? Okay, they said yeah. travels are good driving through North Florida as we speak. Oh, hey guys! <sighs> North Florida. I'm sorry, I have no desire to go to Florida. I'm sorry. We're no offense. We're going to be awfully offense. close to there in two weeks. No offense to our wonderful viewers that we love there, but they just have they have alligators. Why would you want to live with alligators? I don't understand. Go to the that. beach. There aren't any there. Yeah, whatever. Okay, <clears throat> so. Proofing your yeast <laughs> means you're waiting for it to start coming up and bubbling. <clears throat> now, hey, do the camera down. <clears throat> dun, dun, dun. Okay, look here. Now, can you see we've already got a couple little bubbles right there. Now, I put a little bit of sugar in here because I found out the sugar makes the yeast react quicker. And we're going to do a little bit ye we're going to do a little yeast test as soon as I get the bread started. <clears throat> because you can go ahead and come up, Dave. Because we were talking about this. I did an impromptu on Sunday video because Susan was having a problem with her bread rising. And she couldn't get her yeast to do anything. <clears throat> so, I did a real quick video to show her what it looks like. Okay, now Dave, we gotta come back down again. It started growing already. All right, now, can you zoom in really close here, Dave? Can uh, you see that? Close as I can get, but Is that the closest probably. you can get? Can you see it? Yeah, you can see a bunch of... <clears throat> okay, now, can you see all these little things that are popping up right here? See all yeah. these little ones? Mm -hmm. Now, if you watch, <clears throat> They're just going to start popping up before your eyes here. See, there's a couple more. Hold on. That is the yeast growing or proofing. See, there's more going on there. There's more. Okay, you guys see the movement on there? This is what I want you to see because <clears throat> everyone's scared of proofing yeast, and really it's not that scary. I would add a half a teaspoon of sugar in with your yeast to make it grow quicker. And you'll see why, after I'm done making it, why why we do that. But if you see here, see, they're all growing and growing and growing. So we're going to let this grow just a little bit more. Okay, Dave, you can come back to me. Tim says lots of alligators in the Alabama lakes, too. <laughs> well, I was kind of wondering, why does anybody live down there with alligators? That's maybe why the land is so cheap. 
<laughs> what, you're never going to visit online friends in Florida? Now she didn't say that. I didn't say that. <laughs> I might. But those alligators really make me wonder. I'll smack them for you. Oh, um, you would protect me? Yep. My nine slightly tarnished armor? Yep. Oh. I'd probably be more tarnished if I was fighting with an alligator. <laughs> um, oh, uh, Patricia <laughs> said she's watching with her granddaughter Cassidy. Hey, Cassidy. Hello, Cassidy. You need to learn how to make homemade bread. It is delicious. Okay. <laughs> now, Dave, come back down. <coughs> okay. Oh, Adam Goshen says we're pulling into Lake City, Florida within an hour. Sunday heading to St. Augustine. Ooh, nice. fun. See, we get to know ahead of time before they're even there and get the video shot. See, <laughs> we're... We're, we got the no, we're in the no. <laughs> okay, so see how this has all changed color? It's kind of poofy over here and over here. <clears throat> that is proof to yeast. Okay, now this is my spoon from earlier. I wasn't about to wash the spoon again. Okay, so I got my yeast water in here. <clears throat> now, I will say I'm putting in a little bit of dry milk because I have dry milk, I need to get used up. So I just think it adds a little more flavor. You don't have to. All right. <clears throat> Got that in there. Now, what else do I need? Okay, so now my salt. Okay, and then my oil. So you can use shortening, butter, margarine, whatever you happen to have. Wait. Oh man! What? You need to use the bacon grease. Use or bacon grease? Well, the bacon grease is to for something else. Oh. Okay, so I have those in here, and then my sugar, <coughs> right there. <coughs> Yeast, salt, shortening, sugar. Okay, so now I'm gonna stir this up, and I'm gonna start adding my flour. Okay. Now, <coughs> I hope this was a big enough container. Oops, I didn't think about that. Okay, I think I did a half batch last time in this one. So there's one. Now you want to start with about half the flour. So I got about half the flour going in here. <clears throat> what I want to know is Ada Goshen bringing me a painting? A painting? I don't know if they took the hint the other day. Their daughter does some cool paintings. Cool. So that if I never get my homestead, at least I can have a dream homestead. <laughs> Okay, so then you mix in first part of your half amount of flour. <clears throat> Man, Jonathan, I cannot believe we're going to see you in about two weeks. That is just crazy. Put your link up there for your um, YouTube channel, Jonathan. I haven't seen him. I'm not sure if he's here right now. Oh, okay. Um, so then you start slowly adding the rest of your flour. Now, I add about... For a six to seven cup, for six to seven cups of flour, I add about five and get it stirred in. <clears throat> and then I start kneading. <clears throat> I actually probably got just a little bit more than five in here. Probably got about five and a half. Okay, so when it gets to this stage, you guys see that? See how kind of crumbly it is and all that? Okay, when it gets to this stage, then you got to start using your hands. <clears throat> it looks like slightly dried Play-Doh. Very good, Dave. Like, you know when Play-Doh gets dried and then it's frustrating good. it won't stick together? <laughs> you remember those days, huh, Dave? Uh-huh. Okay, so then you start working in the rest of your flour. Now, see how sticky that is? That's not what you want. You want it to be smooth, okay? But you want to go a little bit at a time. This is called kneading, and I knead in my bowl. I just lift it over and push down. I don't knead on the counter. I figure why well, make more mess than I need to. So I just knead in the bowl. Now, <clears throat> it's still a little too sticky. So I'm gonna reach in and get a little bit more flour and dust it on there. <clears throat> and you really can't knead your flour or your um, dough too long. About five minutes is a really good time, <clears throat> but man, if you want to go 15 minutes, will you just go 15 minutes? I personally don't have the strength with my fibromyalgia to go 15 minutes, but I go as long as I can. <clears throat> okay. 
Now, we're getting there. <clears throat> Mary said I ordered your soap on Etsy a day ago. Excited. Oh, Mary, I sent it today for you. <laughs> <clears throat> so you should have it there Monday, hopefully. I don't know. Hopefully. The post office is being a real turd. I sent some packages priority last Friday. And delivery confirmation said they weren't getting there till yesterday. I'm like, are you kidding me? That's not two to three day delivery, PayPal. <laughs> <clears throat> so, okay. Sassy Crafty Creations by Denise says, hi, new to your channel. Glad well, you're here, Denise. Hello, welcome. Okay, so now you can see, now I'm going to take it out of the bowl just so you can see. Can you see how it's really kind of smooth and getting really smooth? <clears throat> And it's not sticking to my hands, really. <coughs> There's a little bit of flour on there. Now, <coughs> you can see here, it's kind of a little sticky. So I'm going to throw just a little bit more. Now, like I said, normally I do this in the bowl, but I want you guys to see what it looks like smooth. So I'm doing it on the counter here for a minute. Okay. There. Now, that is pretty smooth. See how nice that's looking? Now, what I do is then I spray my bowl, just the one that I just did everything in, plop it in there, <laughs> spray the top. Now, you want to spray it with oil or rub a little bit of bacon grease if you want on it um, because it keeps a crust from forming on the top. And if <clears throat> the crust forms, the bread doesn't rise as well and you get these little crumblies in your... You dropped it in, the camera shook like it was an earthquake. Uh, yes. Uh, Jack, stop jumping. Here? Yeah, when it's done. Rosemary asked, so uh, you might have already answered this, but she asked how much does it have to proof before you use it? Um, okay, so just a second. Let me get all the goop off my hands, guys. Sorry. Okay. So really... <coughs> You want it to proof just until you see it activating. Which doesn't take very long. Like right? five, ten minutes. Probably ten minutes at the most. Okay, Dave, you can come back up. Now, what I do is I turn my oven on for like three minutes to warm up. <clears throat> and then I leave my oven light on. And I rise my... <clears throat> dough in the warm oven. Now I do that because we usually keep our house temperature down a little bit lower, not as low as mom, but we don't keep it at 75 or we keep it at 68, 70. And sometimes that's not in the winter enough <coughs> to make your dough rise. So you can see in here, I've already got two Rising, okay. Can you see in there, Dave? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, so now. I'm not super zoomed in, but you can see a bit. Now, this one has only been in here about 40 minutes, and you really need it to go another hour. But because I'm the oh so prepared one. <laughs> what? You're prepared? Not. What happened to my wife? Oh, right. <laughs> I ran out of flour and yeast and I had to run to the grocery store and get some before the show. So I could only get this made 40 minutes before this, before now. What? <gasps> but let me show you what to do. Now this is a half a loaf. This isn't a whole loaf, okay? Or I mean a half a recipe, one loaf. Oh, sorry. Shayla in Kansas made cinnamon bread yesterday. <gasps> Hello, Shayla in Kansas. <laughs> Do we want to say who Shayla and Kansas is? Yep, it's our sister-in-law. My brother's wife. She's been actually very active on our Save on Groceries Facebook page. Wow, nice. So, <clears throat> which has been acting like a bunch of two-year-olds lately, PayPal. What? <gasps> I'm like, are you people adults? My word. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Had a moment there. Had a moment, now I'm done. Okay, so now this is mom's little trick. She greases her pan with bacon grease because it adds a very good texture to it, or not texture, flavor to it. But it doesn't taste like bacon, but it does add a really nice um, flavor. <clears throat> okay, so just form your bread. So that it's in here real nice. 
Ta-da, can you see that? Yes. Okay, and then you're gonna let it rise again, okay? So, now, then, when it's been rising, you can see how puffy it's gonna get. Now, I'm gonna let this rise for just a couple more minutes because it's not quite ready. And while I do that, I'm gonna explain, no, I'm gonna experiment on the great yeast experiment for the betterment of mankind 2018. What? Yes, I am doing that. Aren't you proud of me? Okay, so now, Here's the great debate on yeast. There are a lot of school of thoughts that say, <coughs> excuse me, that say you should never add salt to your yeast because it kills it. Well then, there are schools of thought that say you should only add sugar. And then there are schools of thought that you should add sugar and salt. And then there's schools of thought you should only add the yeast. So, we are going to do an experiment right now to see if salt actually kills yeast. And to see which one rises quicker. Okay? Because the world needs more salt, people. No, I'm not really, I don't know. That, the world really needs said. more homemade bread. Heidi says, loves your hair. Thank you. Yeah, it does need more homemade bread. You're right. <laughs> the world needs more homemade bread. Okay. Uh, Carol is asking, why does my bread seem to be dense or heavy? What would cause dense or heavy bread? Do you know? So dense or heavy bread is you haven't let it rise long enough. And that could be either because your yeast was not fresh. Because yeast will die if you keep it too long. And if you buy the yeast in the big foil containers, you can um, refill into a little container like this and then put it in um, the freezer and it'll last five or six years in the freezer. So if you want to buy it in bulk, which is the cheapest way to get it in those foil packets, Throw it in the freezer and just keep a little section like this, and then you can do that. Okay, so let me get some water here, and we're going to do the great yeast test for the betterment of mankind 2018. Because the world needs more homemade bread, people. Okay. There, see? You're perfect. All right, so I'm pouring my yeah. water in. I, I need to get a recording of you saying that. They can't see it. Hold up. Okay, so Dave's coming down. <clears throat> All right, so now. <clears throat> oh, what are we making? April's asking. Homemade for, bread. For everyone joining us, homemade bread, and I'm going to share the recipe again. <clears throat> but right now we're doing an experiment because people get in arguments all the time if you should put salt in your, um, <coughs> salt in your yeast or not. Okay, so I got my sugar here. Okay, and got my salt here. And then my plain water. Okay, so here we go. Plain yeast. Get it all mixed up. Stick my sugar here so I remember. Whoops. Debbie's asking, does it matter if you use regular or quick rise? No, just quick rise is quicker. Um, okay, so I got that stirred in. Okay, so now my sugar only. We're getting that stirred in. My brother says the world needs more bacon, people. The world does yes, need more bacon, does. my brother. But we also need to, the world needs a way to get rid of fat. Uh, Cherry's asking, does the yeast do okay after the date, and how long does it last? Sometimes it does, and sometimes it doesn't. If your bread isn't rising, that's why you proof for yeast to see if it's still working before you make your bread. Um, because... Um, <clears throat> It, it can die. So you can use it past the expiration date, but it's just kind of a, you know, who knows kind of guessing game if it's going to work or not. Okay. So now, can you see all of these, Dave? Yep. All right. So there we go. So this one is just plain yeast. 
This one is yeast and sugar, and this one is yeast and salt. And I probably should have done one with yeast, sugar, and salt. Hand me another bowl, Dave. You know what? You have to wonder. It's at the back. Does yeast have a mind of its own? Yes. <laughs> it does? Yep. So it has its own, like, spirit in the world? Okay, so then, just for all those people who are going to yell at me because I didn't do both, okay, there's a little bit of salt, and there's a little bit of sugar. Because you know in bread you always put and sugar in Here's the yeast. Okay, we'll get that one going. <clears throat> okay, so can they see all four of these now? Yeah. So, very interesting looking at this already. Can you guys see this? This can one's they all see clumped it? up. Yeah, yeah, you know why? Because the sugar's it. making the yeast grow quicker. Oh, it's Look really at how fast. Clean. This oh. one hasn't even, these two haven't even started. That's what it looks like grown? Yeah. Wow. Oh. That's grown yeast. That's called proofing yeast. Well, I thought that's what it looked like inside the... Yeah, that's what it looks like inside here. Though. I know, but that's it growing. So very interesting. So just right out the bat, if you want to quickly proof your yeast, add a, ta a, tea a teaspoon of sugar to it, and that'll get it going. Okay, so now the sugar one's already going. The plain one... It's kind of starting right there just a tiny bit. The salt one's not really doing anything yet. Okay, yes, dear. Any questions? Uh, Charlotte asks, how do you store bacon drips? <laughs> I keep them in a big mason jar in my fridge. Um, let's see. Okay, <clears throat> Jennifer said, I've been acting at least like a 10-year-old in the group. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer. I appreciate it. And I'm not sure Stephen Hancock Scott Wallace. I'm not sure if that's the person who's actually commenting said test yeast with warm water and a little sugar if it bubbles in five minutes and it's still good. That's kind of what you were so, talking about. Yeah. Right? So right here we're testing the yeast, but what we're testing is yeast by itself with water, yeast and sugar, yeast and salt, yeast with sugar and salt. And you can see, look at this. The yeast with sugar and salt is already growing. Wow. And these two aren't really yet. Isn't that interesting? Hmm. Um, I should have been a scientist. Because you love testing things. Could you see me being a scientist? Now I could. You'd have to write things down so you wouldn't forget them. You'd be looking for your papers everywhere. So that's pretty much like a regular scientist, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> You'd be a mad scientist. <laughs> <coughs> That's funny. Maureen said, I've made bread for years, but one day made it while raining and didn't turn out property, properly. Do you think there could be any reason that it rain? Or is it um, just... I think it was probably too cool. Mm. Um, rain only usually affects things like meringues and divinity, candy, stuff like that. Kathy said, yes, make more bread, and how about homemade pizza? Oh, yeah. Have you, have you done the homemade pizza on the show? You did it once. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, just a sec. Oh, look, here it goes. Look at, see? Now, can you guys Whoa, see that? Man, it's Whoa, really it's really out. going. Oh, that's so cool. Did you get that on camera, Dave? <sighs> oh, I hope that got caught on camera. Well, yeah, it's been on there for the entire time. Okay, so very interesting. So the yeast didn't by itself didn't go very quickly, but once it went, poof, it was gone. <laughs> so we've got the sugar and yeast did first, the sugar, salt, and yeast did second, yeast by itself third, and the salt with yeast still has not risen. <laughs> or, I mean, poofed. Madame M says, I can see Tara in the lab coat. She has a good sense of humor. <laughs> yes. Uh, Laura's asking on the bacon grease, can you put it in a mason jar and freeze it? Yeah, you can. Mm hmm Put on the lab coat. Jamie! Hey, Jamie! I Make got my tea back here, Jamie, brewing away. Okay, so it really looks like that yeast, that salt by itself does kill the yeast. This is really not doing anything. I don't know how long it's been, but these are all proofed. So you can see the difference on how, can you see that on there? How different yeah. that is? Okay, so you can well, see how this just looks like muddy water and this I looks mean, like poofy muddy water. Hold up guys, let me, it might shake a little bit, but just a second. Hold on, Dave's gonna see if he can get you guys up close so you can see, cause this is really what, what I want Whoa. to point out. This is how you know your yeast is proofing, okay? okay what, now, right here, these yeasts are proofed. This one right here, yeah, you can see it. Okay, this one right here, it's not proofing, so it has probably been killed by the salt. 
All right, so if it just looks like muddy water, it's not doing anything. But if it looks like poofy muddy water. <laughs> but you had some with salt and sugar in it, so it did okay? Yeah, if you add the sugar, it does okay. So that's... But if you add the salt by itself, it doesn't do this anything. This is salt and sugar? Mm -hmm. But this one right here is better. This one's just, just sugar. sugar. And yeah, this is just go. yeast. Go back up. So sugar really does go ahead. make it proof Wee. better. Now there's a tiny bit of movement Sorry, on guys, the salt. Good. Sorry, but not good. a lot. Okay, you can come up, back up to me. Then Sorry, if the salt does anything, I'll let you guys know, but it's not. So, here's the thing. The salt alone, it looks like kills it. But if you add sugar with the salt, it doesn't. <laughs> Man, I really was shaking. Sorry, guys. That's, That's pretty shaking. interesting, isn't it? Yep. Out of Goshen is asking, which painting, which of those paintings would you like? Cool. I just want a homestead farmy one. I don't care. It doesn't have to be any of them. Just a homestead farming one. I'll give you a book. Well, I, can I trade you a book? Um, she just did a really cool red barn farmy one. I loved the red barn. And I loved all the grass and everything. And if you want to throw a few flowers in, you can too. <laughs> <laughs> and a fence. <laughs> okay. See, I want to live on a farm, but I don't want to have a farm. I don't want to deal with muck and stalls. I don't want to deal with cows getting out and goats getting out. I just want to live on a farm where it's quiet. Unfortunately, we're not finding that here in Colorado. So, okay. So I think we can pretty much determine the salt has killed it. Okay. So now my bread is nice and poofy. Okay. That's how you want it. And then we're going to bake it. All right, here we go. Dave, what is this? Wait, did you put the garlic on it? This isn't garlic no. bread. No. Although you he can do it later garlic. if you want. When it's done, cut yourself a piece in. Jack? Do you have butter on it? <laughs> okay, so we were going to make some donut soap. So Jack came home day before yesterday and said, Mom, I have to make something to sell. Yeah, he asked like at 9.30 at night and said, I need it tomorrow. <laughs> Mom's like, are you kidding me? Do you want to try the donut soap now? Or do you want to wait till later? You want to show everybody the donut soap we're going to try and make? Sure. Okay, the donuts are out there. Is there any bread? Not yet. <gasps> it's oh. cookie. They also asked what theme would you like? You probably already answered that, I guess. I'm looking theme back further. Theme farmstead. Make David wow. caramel Homesteady donut. type thing. Wow. Wait, what? And I love flowers. Are these all different flavors? <clears throat> okay, so I started... So Jack came up and I said, well, why don't we make, so tell them what you're doing at school. Tell them what project you're doing. Uh, we're like, make, so we're making like things for us to sell. Yes, because you're learning about. Market, wait, what? Yeah, marketing yeah, and marketing. commerce. Mm -hmm. So they're learning about how to market and how to make things and commerce and that kind of thing. Important what? stuff. The important <laughs> stuff. Get it together, people. David had an A in one of his classes and was flunking all the other classes. No, A in two of my classes. A in two of my classes. This one is shorter than all the and others. Both of them are business. And I said, okay, as long as he's getting an A in the business classes, I don't care because he'll be able to make money for everything else. <laughs> it was only because he was sick and didn't have his, um, okay, now I messed this one up. So these look more like caramel donuts because I colored them wrong. So we can do them lighter if you want. Yeah. You want them lighter? Uh, yeah, I think the chocolate ones should be a little bit lighter. <clears throat> okay. We're going to need. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of soap. And we are going to put frosting on these. And I don't know where he went. Where did he go? He left. Okay, so here's the little donuts. I miscolored these, so probably we won't use those ones. But we'll show you. This is melt and pour soap. So all you do, uh, where'd the melt and pour go? Oh. A couple people were saying you already are a scientist. You make soap. <laughs> <laughs> I am, aren't I? I never thought about that. Yeah. Ah, that's true. Okay. Wait, I could get science credits from that, couldn't I? Yes, you could. Okay, so I'm chopping up my mountain pour here. And... Yes, oh, 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 
Oh wait, our great yeast experiment for the betterment of mankind 2018. Hold on, look at this guys. Look, look, look. Okay, come down. Did you come down? Yeah. Okay, right here, the salt did not kill it. It is actually proofing, but it's a lot slower. It is a ton slower. So this took what, probably 15 minutes? Yeah. Wow. Oh, it smells good. That is crazy. Okay, can so it did that? proof, <laughs> but you can see that it didn't do a lot. Okay, throw this in the microwave here for 30 seconds. Wait, I have an idea. What? This is plastic. <clears throat> it won't hurt. I have a revolutionary idea. You have a revolutionary idea. What's your revolutionary idea? Can you get like a thing of icing, like an icing squinchy thingy but instead have the melt and pour in there and then do it and then have yep. it so that's like right here that's what we're gonna do plus these aren't rounded donuts well they're as rounded as they're gonna get work with me work with me she doesn't know what she's doing guys well, I... thanks she, okay she so might, what we're gonna do is we're melting more melt and pour Ooh, it's steaming okay can you grab it And we're going to make it pink. Okay, we're going to put some pink in. There we go. That's a little bit too much pink probably. Okay, so now get the alcohol. So for melt and pour, when you go to, um, when you go to add your mica to it to color it, you'll have to spray it with the rubbing alcohol, the blue bottle. Okay, spray the blue bottle on it. And it'll break up the mica clumps. How many? Just go, three or four. One more. Perfect. Okay. So when you stew up the mica clumps, then, woo, look at how pink that, do you think they would like the pink frosting? Um. It's liquid though. Can you yeah. explain the differences in flour, self-rising, and all-purpose? Yes. Flour? Actually, we have a website article on that if Mike will go get it. Okay. So now what we're going to do is here's the sprinkles. Put it in the sprinkles. <clears throat> so what you're going to do is you're going to, wait a minute, you're going to take this, so watch mom, okay? You're going to take this and you're going to very, very gently pour it over the top. And it's going to fall in. Yeah, that's what you want it to look like. It's been frosted. Okay. It's a frosted donut. Now. Oh. Hold on. It's now, hole. take, <laughs> it'll go out. Okay, now. If you want it more, hold on. Boop, 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 boop. Go get a toothpick. I'm sharing that link right now about the Where difference between the baking flowers right here. in the comments. Oh, I just realized I didn't do the show notes. Yeah. No. Right there in the corner. I got two. <clears throat> okay. One Thank up you. in you. Okay. Right. Joshua. Okay. So, there. Now take your sprinkles and then you're going to sprinkle them. But the kids are going to want to eat it. On now. top. No, he wrote, do not eat, didn't you? On your label, he you, made his labels. Oh, you, okay. If you don't so read the directions, on. you'll be washing your own mouth out with soap. <laughs> this one? Yep. So just go around the edge, kind of. Oh no. Okay. A little too much. Okay. Oh. Now do that one. That's all right. You want me to put the sprinkles on? Then I you keep have on overdoing it. That's okay. Now do the next one. <clears throat> so you're making soap So we're making for donut soaps for school. So Jack has to make like 150 of these. 125. I calculated. 120. It. Well, very good. He calculated it. 125. Good. Okay, now do the these ones. Use the calculator to save time. Good. <laughs> do these ones. Oops, hold on. Let me get the sprinkles on these. I think we before. might be running out. Okay, it's all right. Here, let's get the sprinkles on these ones before the. You want to get the sprinkles on before the melt and pour gets too hard. It's actually getting hard. Okay, there we go. Getting hard. It's all right. Okay, Mike fixed okay. it. Now do these three right here. So there if you're you know. keeps them leaving like a little here. Thing Boop. Behind it. They're saying dip them. There. Like now. put them in a bowl and dip them. Okay, now there's a little bit more. Hold on. 
Okay, do these ones. So if you missed any of the links that we've shared so far. You want to dip them in there? Here, take the bottom and let's see if dipping works better. So you can go like living that. on the dime and oh, check there, out the Oh, there, that works good. Well, till the soap gets a little there. Oh, yeah, that works good to dip them. Yeah. They look really nice. Okay, so he's making little donut soaps. Okay, do this one. Soap do is that last one. a little bit hard. Okay, set it right here and I'll put the sprinkles on. <clears throat> or over there. Now, then you have little, oops, that are stuck to the table. <laughs> They're stuck to the table. <laughs> there. Wow. So then the... you have little mini donut soaps. Aren't those cute? Yeah, so the pink stuff, is that soap? I didn't yeah, catch it. Yeah, it's oh. soap. That's awesome. So those are our donut soaps that we're going to make. You should have this used, weekend. You should have used the lye soap, so then you could put smelly stuff in it and make it. Well, smell you could. Good. No, we're gonna put smelly stuff in this one. I just did it for these test ones. Oh. We have some wonderful Let's vanilla scent. See that one scent. looks the best. You like this one the best? Dave likes this one the best. Uh, this but one looks like a mini too. cake. Yeah. This one looks like a mini cake. So there's Jack's product. So how many more do we have left? If we have to make 125. One, two, what? three, four, five, six, you... seven, eight. Uh, eight, so, seven, 117. Yeah. 117, yep. Whew. Good luck, Mom. Do you think they'll be, I think yours is going to be the coolest invention there, don't you? I'm sure it is. I don't think it's going to be the first coolest. I think it's going to be the second coolest. I think because... it's going to be the first. Okay, then the soap right here, you can reuse it. You just peel it off, throw it back in, and remelt it, and you can use it. So, <coughs> there you go. All right. Although, if they're in a trailer, how is Adagoshin Goshen going to get me a painting? It looks tough. Well, maybe when they stop. Maybe when they stop, except don't bang the... It'll make the bread fall if you bang the thing. It okay, tough. it's not done yet. Believe me. Done. Close that cabinet door so somebody doesn't whack their head. All right, so anybody else on here that we need to chat with? Can I have Looks some swinkles? Good, Jack. Yeah. Denise says she's addicted to white cheddar popcorn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Use the darker ones as chocolate donuts. <laughs> oh, we could do that, actually, with some white frosting and sprinkles. That would work, wouldn't it, Jack? Don't eat all the sprinkles. The darker ones oh. are cinnamon donuts. Just add glitter and it's cinnamon and sugar. Oh, that's true. That would work. We could do that. Make some cinnamon ones. What? There you go. That. Has anything been said about living on a dime rating fourth most frugal YouTube channel? Who said that, two family? Oh, yeah, I saw that somewhere. Yeah, who was that? I don't know. Fourth? I what? know, that's what I was just going to say. Have fourth? Have we fallen? Somebody stole our spot. <laughs> I think we should be number one. We are number one. Are the sprinkle soaps as well? Are they? No, the sprinkles aren't. Ah, they're just sprinkles and they'll just dissolve in the tub but you can make sprinkle soaps soap sprinkles but i just didn't have time to do it so i'm not gonna mess with it but it's okay oh ann in the uk hello glad you're back ann yeah so guys go check out my how to make bread ebook <laughs> on amazon it's got a ton more recipes in there what jamie's asking if he sells them now if he sells them now? Yes. Why? Uh, probably because they look good. Oh, yeah, so, he probably could. So I was going to tell Anne, glad you're back, Anne, in the comments, and I just said, glad you're Anne. <laughs> like, okay, Mike's a little okay. loopy tonight. Okay, glad you're Anne. A little too much cold medicine. <laughs> oh, um, man, we have been down in the cold medicine. Yeah? Uh, it's... For what? Uh, I don't know if I do. We might be out. Yeah, we might be out. So I brought the bread. <clears throat> Stacy was asking, you had it rising in the oven with just the light on, right? No, I turned the oven on and let it heat up to about 100 because my oven has a digital thing. And so when it gets to 100, <clears throat> then I turn it off and leave the light on. In the winter, that's <clears throat> good, especially because it's so cold sometimes that they don't rise enough. So, yeah. 
Sharon says she loves your patience with Jack. Aww. He's easy to be patient with, right, he Jack? He is. Um, Especially when he gives mom kisses. You're losing it. Oh, there you go. Oh, Dad, you know they turn eight and a half and they just don't want kisses anymore. Actually, I do, Mom. Oh, phew. Sandy said, my four-year-old daughter says she's very happy Tara's wearing a ponytail. Don't know why. Well, I am happy, Sandy's four-year-old daughter. Hello. <laughs> so I got my hair cut today and I hate it. And I paid a boatload of money for it, too. I'm kind of mad. Uh, but I'm going to go back and have her recut it in a different style. I knew it wasn't going to work when I was talking to her, but she convinced me to try it, and I did, and I shouldn't have done it. I have to tell you, every time you go to get your hair done somewhere, you say, I hate it. I have never had a haircut that I like. You had that one lady that you said was great, but well, then... Well, but then the second time I went, she didn't do so great. She just totally lopped it off. So I was like, I don't know. <laughs> what is in the crock pot? Oh, boy. So in the crock pot is Changa mushrooms. <laughs> Those mushrooms from the Turid said they had in Norway. So it's supposed to help with pain and all these other varies, varieds of symptoms. And you let it simmer. Do I dare try it on live? See what it tastes like live? Well, I don't know. I don't know if I should try this live or did, not. What did I say it looked like? It looks like dirt. There was something else I said it looked like. I can't remember now. Uh, Bella is asking the spice cake recipe in the Dining Up Dive cookbook says use a 10 inch tube pan. Can I just use a 13 by 9? Yes, you can. And I'll share the link for that. Okay. Um, so let's give it a whirl here. So you guys can see my breads are rising really nicely. See that one's almost risen. The second rising doesn't take quite as long. This one isn't quite doubled. We're probably going to wait until it gets up to about here, okay, is where you want it. But we'll probably be done with the show before that's done. Um, okay. Do you have one that's done done? Oh, yeah. There it is. So, this is the mushroom tea Jamie had me take. Now, she drank some last night. She didn't have a very good reaction. Right <laughs> here. Mushroom tea? I mean, that just doesn't sound very appealing. Oh. The bread's going to be done in about 15 minutes. Rebecca is asking, does Jack get to sell these? Yes, so he's yeah. going to sell them at school, and we made little packets, little baggies, and he's handwriting donut soap, do not eat, on each package, so they don't eat them. <laughs> oh, you know Denise, ask, do you have a coffee cup mold that would be cute with the donuts? <laughs> oh, oh, I do. Yeah, that would be really cute, wouldn't it? <laughs> wouldn't that be cute? Yeah, like you could do oh, coffee and donuts. Oh, thank you. Sophie says we're number one with, you're number one with us, Mike and Tara. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Are you sure about that? I can't believe in almost two weeks we're going to be seeing two family. We're going to be doing the show from Mississippi this time in two weeks. <laughs> wow. We're going to be sitting around a campfire. Hopefully it won't rain. Sitting around a campfire with Alderman Farm and hopefully two family. I don't think Jonathan will be there yet. Florida Jamie's Singularity yet. No. He'll be there, but not that day, probably. Yeah. And hopefully... Deep South Homestead, hopefully. I don't know who else is going to be there. Okay, so I'm going to try this mushroom tea and see what we think here. Uh, Maureen is asking how good. many she loaves of... try one sip. Don't try the whole Maureen is asking how many loaves of bread does this recipe make? Two. Well... Oh, your mom says four. <laughs> your mom oh, says she it? thinks four. You th no, so it's two. It's two. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, two. It's two. Um, okay, well, it doesn't taste too bad. Do I feel do, do you see all the swirling happen after I sipped it and, and I'm miraculously having stuff happen? Do you see the swirling like, you know, in Cinderella and all that? Is it happening? Why is it supposed to be swirling? Because I drank a sip of the tea. Yeah, but that's not like loopy tea, is it? Well, <laughs> we hope not. <laughs> it's supposed to not be loopy tea. When you say mushrooms, I'm like, I don't know about that. <laughs> it's not like that, guys. Even it's not like that, even though we're in Colorado. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, brother. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. So what do I do with this? Just sip on it all day long? Ramona says it's supposed to be great for your health, and she's wanting to try it. Did you need some sugar in it or something? Man, you're supposed to drink this stuff all day long? <laughs> the things I try. Just for um, you guys. Maureen's asking about cold sores. Uh, yeah, lysine that Jill's mentioning. 
Uh, you just take it. You can just get it. It's El Lysine. It's the same stuff that I was re recommending for that other thing. And it's um, see, I have a link here for it somewhere. Oh, here it is. El Lysine and El Arginine. Yeah, but just the Lysine for cold sores. El Lysine just for the cold sores. Um, I'm gonna share so, a link for that. In case you're just joining us, we're going to the Deep South Homestead Gathering in Wiggins, Mississippi, at the fairgrounds at 10 a.m. on excuse me, March 11th. So, if you guys are in the Mississippi area or can get to Mississippi, I think Jonathan, no, Jonathan's not driving the furthest. I think two family is the furthest driving. They're driving 14 hours. I think we're coming. 14 hours? Okay, said add honey. I, oh, add honey? Okay. I'll try that and see. So, I think we're coming the furthest. I think we're, we're the people that are coming the longest distance. We're just not Do driving. we get a prize for that? I hope we get a prize for that. For hey, coming for this distance? Yes. Someone did a... Uh, Do they give a prize? Notice. I don't know. You're the one that's been knocking everybody. <clears throat> someone did it at Justin Rhodes's. I mean, someone got it. For the furthest distance? Yeah. Oh, yeah. whoa, look at my... It's going poop. Is that your jawbreaker? Yeah, it's my jawbreaker. It started yesterday. Oh, we forgot about to talk about the emergency room. So, Wednesday night after the show... Mm -hmm. April wants to know where you got the no mug. Uh, send my mom us? got this for oh, me. Right. My mom got this for me. My cute little gnome Meg that I love. So Wednesday night after the show, we were sitting down watching Monk. BJ walks in the door from work and says, Mom, I really need to go to the emergency room. Oh my room. goodness. And, oh wow. Yeah, this one's pretty nice. <clears throat> and we were like, okay. Well, he'd smashed his finger a week and a half ago fixing his car and he thought he had tetanus well at the time i said something about a tetanus shot and and we were like well i think it's up to date i don't know i'm pretty sure it's up to date well he had it in high school so i'm sure it's up to date well so we get there and the doctor's like no i don't think because his jaw was hurting really bad well he he had all these symptoms and he was like what are these symptoms now so he googled it and it said tetanus he's like because <gasps> he already had it in his mind that he had been working on the car although i told him it's usually a puncture wound that causes that well that was a puncture wound was it yeah oh. it was bad and so um so we went to the emergency room the doctor checked him out she said oh no i don't think so but here's the thing she said oh you had your last one in 2015, and I said, I know he did not have his last tetanus in 2015. I said, I think that was dad's, and they got it mixed up in the system. Because I stepped on a nail. So I think she was kind of already predisposed to thinking, oh, you don't have it. Well, Because so, he'd had the shot, or so the records said. Well, so and, you're saying he does have it? So we were sitting there talking to her. And I said, I know he didn't have that. She said, okay, I'll go double check. I said, yeah, go make sure the birthday is correct. So she went back and she was like, oh, and we heard her talking to the nurse outside. She's like, oh, I really messed that up. Oh, that's not good. She said it was due in 2015. Oh. I knew that so last was... one when he was in kindergarten was the last one he'd had. So remember when he stepped on the nail? I don't remember that. Yeah, he stepped on a nail, and we had to run and go get him one. So then she came back, and she had a little bit of a different tune. And she was like, oh, well, I still don't think you have it, but watch yourself for another week and a half because it could still incubate, and we're going to give you a tetanus shot now. And <clears throat> so apparently it helps if you go ahead and get the tetanus shot a little bit. Um... It helps that. So poor BJ was freaked out. So we were at the emergency room till 12.30. <laughs> and I'm sick as a dog. No, and we I'm hate, like, I need to be that one we, in the emergency room. We really room. don't like to do emergency room at all. <coughs> no, and we so don't. We were sitting there and I was thinking, are you sure? Uh, I don't know because... We really don't want to have to do Yeah, it. we don't do emergency room just for every little thing, but for this... But we just thought, well, if it really is tetanus, then it could be causing permanent yeah. damage. So look at this, guys. Look at this sugar and yeast one. Can you see how poofy that is? Can they sugar see that, Dave? Sugar and yeast or sugar, salt and yeast? No, this is just Hold sugar and yeast. Hold it up. 
Oops, it's falling as I'm messing with it. Oh, yeah. If you're just joining us and you're wondering about the bread, uh, we made it earlier, and uh, somebody actually... It's baking. Watermelon Pucks... Puckius? Is asking if that's going to be a rustic loaf. The one in there. This one here? Oh, no, the one in the bowl, I guess. Was well, that bowl gonna be Oh, a rustic no, loaf? I'm just letting it go for its first rising. So I could do a rustic loaf. Yeah, I could do that. So then... Uh, so I'll share the recipe again for the soap. Thursday morning, after being at the hospital till 12, 1230, something like that, I had to wake up and get Dave to the doctor at 8 o'clock in the morning. And so we took him to ear, nose, and throat. And here's the thing. They said that he said he thinks he's sick all the time because he has heartburn. And it has messed up his throat and the virus and bacteria keep harboring in the cobblestone uh, texture of his throat. He's been more sick than everyone else ever since we can remember. Like, if we get a sickness for a week, it'll be four weeks for him. Yeah, he's four to six weeks for every, six to eight weeks on some. I mean, he is sick three to four months out of every single year. I would say three and to five, because sometimes I can have a lot of I sickness. know. You go for a long, long time. And so we're going to see if we can get the heartburn under control for him and see if that will help him not be so sick. Although he's been like this since he was a baby, so I have to wonder about that theory. I'm not too sure about that. I can't imagine he's had heartburn for the last 12 years. Yeah, well, we don't, we've don't. we learned to not believe everything every doctor says. I mean, some doctors are great. We have actually a great primary that BJ and I have both been to now, so. But of course, he was out of town when I needed him. Yeah. For David. Well, the last time BJ and I went to him, he had a big surgical mask on his face because he was sick. Well, I was then. Like, I've never seen a doctor do that before, but. Well, then, the dangling pediatrician, she put him on antibiotics, and the other doctor said he didn't even have an ear infection. I was like, seriously? <clears throat> so he's off the antibiotics now. But I was going to tell you guys, so if you were on Facebook last night and saw my little question about because the hospital is double charging us for BJ's EKG, <clears throat> did you get a hold of the attorney? Did you file that today? No. So uh, I'll probably work on it tonight or tomorrow. The, we called the attorney general, and they said that we can file a consumer fraud complaint. So we're going to do that and see. They said they thought it was, it sounded like fraud. Yeah. So the attorney general's office said that it sounded like it was fraud. At first she thought it was just somebody calling us. And I'm like, no, it's actually the hospital. And they told us one price when we were there and we paid it. <coughs> and she told us we were done. And then two months later we get another bill and they decided just to double it. Yes, yes, yes. And so, um, so we are filing with the attorney general. Mike looked it up. It looks like we really can't go to small claims court for well, it. Well, we could. It'd just be a waste of time. I mean, we'd have to, there's just all kinds of stuff. And we were, I honestly, I was like, I'm tired of dealing with this. But at the same time, I think it really feels like fraud. So I hate to just, Especially since they have it, they have a dispute process, and I discovered they didn't even enter our dispute in the dispute process. They just received the dispute in their disputes department and then deleted it. <laughs> yeah, so, they didn't even look at the dispute. They sent a letter, a form letter that basically didn't address the dispute at all. And I'm like, okay, well, but it's we're it's funny because when hello Kaylee, hi Kaylee. <laughs> Um, BJ and I, when we went to the, the really good doctor that we found, and actually for him, I just, I seriously vetted him by looking online at people's reviews from three different websites that weren't affiliated with his hospital, with his, uh, practice. And he, he's been a really good doctor so far, but he was asking BJ about BJ's things and we were like, yeah, we, we told him that we had one appointment for BJ and that was kind of all we were working on right now because I said we kind of have doctor fatigue. <laughs> so. <clears throat> well, he's going to the endocrinologist um, next month. Maybe I need to go. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> well, BJ, was it three months ago or something? He had some tests and they pointed in one direction. So uh, we're going to go to the endocrinologist and see. But we're kind of not in the They massive... say that he has really high blood sugars and he has really low blood sugars. And it doesn't make sense. Yeah, so they're taking him there to so check it out. So we're going to go try and figure that. Oh, Jonathan, you are here. 
Yes, Hello, what did you see? Hello, Jonathan. Well, we weren't sure if you were there, oh, there earlier. Yeah. I just can't believe two weeks from today we'll be there. This is so exciting. <laughs> I've never been to Mississippi. Well, I haven't either. I've been to Louisiana, which is close. Uh, oh, the Jamie's, bread is done. Jamie's asking, how are you feeling? Me? <laughs> Two family says, Mike, I just told Kaylee about the arrangement we made for her and Jack. <laughs> what? Uh, what was that? Well, she posted a picture the other day of, of Kaylee doing something, and it was really oh. cute. And I, and I said, oh, how cute. And she's like, something about we could make some arrangements for the future. <laughs> okay, so here's the bread. And then as soon as I take it out of the oven, I put butter on top because I like a soft crust. But, of course, I can't eat this because I'm gluten-free. Which stinks, because I love homemade bread. That's the one thing I would eat if I could not be gluten-free. Okay, so then I'm going to let it cool for just a bit, and we will take it out of the pan and cut it, and it will be our dinner. <laughs> so I'm sticking this other one. See this one? It's all ready. I'm sticking it in. And then this one. Is not quite doubled yet, almost, it's about doubled. And then we will break that up and I'll probably make cinnamon bread out of that one. So there's the homemade bread. Oh, let's see what we have here. So. <coughs> um, you will love, love, love Mississippi. I've been here all my life and no desire to leave. Um, well, maybe we should move to Mississippi. It's no, that. they have humidity and, and they have say, alligators. If Tennessee is too hot for you, I'm thinking Mississippi is going to be hotter. But <clears throat> I did when my my family, my yes. You can't cut yeah, it. Okay. It has to Just cool. It. It's all right, Jack. Jack's worried because Buster's going crazy. Poor Buster. <laughs> um, Tara, have you made gluten-free bread? I've tried to look at different recipes for gluten-free. Um, I have. I had one turn out, but I didn't keep the recipe. <clears throat> oh, I was going to say, uh, my family was from southeastern Louisiana. I'm sorry. And we used to go there uh, when I was a kid. And it didn't, of course, when you're a kid, I guess nothing seems brutally hot. But they had these huge oak trees, though, that looked like they'd be 300-year-old oak trees in Colorado. And I think they probably were 40 years old because the humidity just made them grow so much. Yeah. So the lady that cut my hair today, she's from Wisconsin. Is she? Yep. How come she came from Wisconsin? <clears throat> they just wanted to try something new. She grew up there all her life. Hmm. Well... It's funny because I, I, I like Wisconsin, but everyone I talk to here about it that's from there says, I came here because I just couldn't stand the winters. Yeah, she said the weather's a lot better here. So, actually, the weather here is pretty mild. Oh, some people were asking earlier. So, <clears throat> we had about a half an inch of snow today, maybe. But we have, we had six or so inches of snow earlier in the week, and it's kind of turned to ice now. And so there's little sprinkles of snow on top of the ice. Um, the streets are mostly clear, but we're supposed to get three, maybe three more inches tonight. Yeah. Well, you can uh, never really tell what they predict. So for Dave's heartburn, we're changing his diet. Sadly, I can't eat nachos <clears throat> and popcorn and pizzas, and I can't eat McDonald's hamburgers and mild Pepsi. hamburgers with all this bacon grease on it. Or uh, Pepsi. Or Pepsi, or I can't have any of these turkey sausages. Not the <laughs> So I have depression. <coughs> so crippling depression. we're going to have to change Dave's diet and put him on some heartburn medicine, see if we can get it healed up. Oh, mosquitoes. Melissa says mosquitoes are the enemy to fear down south. And Stephanie says, yes, mosquitoes will tote you off down here. Yeah, so that's one thing she said about Wisconsin. She said, I never knew that you could come to a place and actually open your doors and windows and have bugs just attack you in your house. Wow. Oh, <coughs> Darren. Darren's on. I was just wondering about you, Darren. Hadn't seen Darren. you in a bit. He says, Tar hey, Tara sent you your tea today. <gasps> oh, Woohoo. Thank you. Tell me how much it was and I'll send you some money. Man, Ellie's been dying to go back I'll to London. I'll pay to you. Um, Almost. It's really hot. We kind of need to let it cool. He's, okay. Oh, he says it's Hold freezing on. there. In, oh, in it's London? freezing and probably overcast and drizzly. <clears throat> okay. Hold on. It's super, super Ellie's hot. Ellie's been wanting to go back. Actually, it's funny, of all the places that she could go, she just loved London. Even though we went to a lot of, you know, out-of-the-way places, she said London is a place she'd love to go back. Can Dave still have cheeseburger rolls? 
No. Oh. Probably Daddy. sparingly. But he's gonna have. But thing is, for a while he was eating like making himself three plates of nachos in a day and popcorn with lots of butter. And I told him, you can't be eating like that, boy. <laughs> Jennifer says, or Jen says, my best friend moved from Illinois and moved to Colorado. Yeah. He misses Illinois. We are she misses Illinois. Yeah. Col well, Colorado is not the same place it used to be. It used to be a really nice place to live. Now it's a nightmare. Kind of depends where you are, but you have to pretty much be in the middle of nowhere or it's it's just overrun with people. Yeah. So. so I don't know. It's, I don't know, the people aren't very nice anymore. They used to be really nice and Yeah. I, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. Ela? There you go, Dave. Says, just discovered you. Tara, why did you go gluten free? Is it? Um, I have chronic fatigue syndrome and fibromyalgia, and it helps me with that a little bit. I'm not like cured gluten free, but I would say I went from flat in bed to up in functioning somewhat. <laughs> Amy T, can you send wait, me some? Wait, wait, hold on. Say it again really loud so everybody can hear you. This is the best homemade bed I've ever tasted. Ooh, maybe I should have a piece. Gotta add salt, because the world needs no... Blah, I said it wrong. I said the world needs. Amy Ooh. T says, can you send me some hot bread for my breakfast? Beats the dinner food you normally make me crave at this time of day. That's funny. Yeah. Amy's, Amy's in Australia. Yep, Amy's in Australia, so it's morning there. We have quite a few Good people. Good morning, That Aussies. it's morning for. I'm watermelon <sighs> pocky. I'm curled up with my cat under a fuzzy blanket. That sounds awesome. <laughs> okay. So here I'm wondering, how much soap would I have to sell for us to go to New Zealand or Australia um, for the summer? Well, I don't know, but I'd be willing to help you sell that much soap because I'd love to go there. Because if we go there for the summer, it'd be winter here, winter there. I have to admit, this is pretty good. Pretty tasty bread, huh? Is pretty mom making a good loaf of bread? No. Valerie's asking, are you doing a live show on Wednesday when you're in Mississippi? That's the plan. Well, here's the thing. We're literally walking off the plane when the show's supposed to be starting. Uh-oh. So we may be doing it at the airport with Alderman Farm, and I have no idea what we're going to do. Well, we could, if, if, the, if there's enough signal, we could, we could stream from the car while we're going to their house. And I don't talk to think them there with... is, from what they say. No? I don't know. <clears throat> so... We are kind of thinking, do we wait and stream when we get to their house, which would be like three hours later. So that'd be like nine o'clock at night. Yeah, that would be hard. Or eight o'clock at night. I keep thinking they're Eastern, but I guess it's eight o'clock at night. Selenia so Tara's been copying because she's been sick for like five weeks. <laughs> so she has been getting it checked, but they basically just said, there's nothing they can take medicine yeah. and it'll go away eventually. <laughs> yeah. Um, so. Unfortunately, that's what they always tell us when. Wait a minute, what did here. Darren say at the top there? He said something. Up here? Yeah, right there. My treat. Hope I got the right tea. Ah! Oh, 20s English breakfast. Awesome. Oh. A posh supermarket version of English breakfast. Thank you. Oh, that he is says, so nice. When are you going to Australia, Darren? What? Wait. That would be awesome. Oh, can we come with you? Heidi wants to know if we're taking the VA to Mississippi. <laughs> Come on down. Heidi needs Heidi needs a vacation after this week monitoring our Save on Groceries. So we have our Save on Groceries Facebook page. But these people have been acting like two-year-olds. I'm like, seriously, people, grow up. Well, <clears throat> somebody earlier said something about you um, categorizing everyone as two-year-olds. But you're not. You're only saying the small portion no, of... No, I'm only very... saying the people acting like two-year-olds not the whole group which is a small group but yes. they're probably vocal but we have been banning and deleting we don't put any nonsense put up with any nonsense from the group so do not give us nonsense none or else we will ban you. it's supposed to be a well i don't want to say that that's not going to be good never mind it's supposed to be a good place for everyone to get together and have a good time <laughs> well it's supposed to be but every now and then i'm going to give you a piece of my mind if you need a wake-up call people Deborah, hi everyone, haven't been able to catch you, you've been working way too much. Glad you're here tonight. Hope you don't have to work too much more. Yes, no, everyone is not acting like that in there, but we had a lot of people this week that poor, that poor Heidi and I have been <laughs> going back and forth with. Rosemary asked why not do a pre-tape show on snacks to take while traveling. Yeah. It's too bad we... 
we were going to um, re up our. We have a little hot spot we use to broadcast from, and we were going to try that, but yeah. it, it may or may it should work in most places, but maybe not everywhere. Yeah. Yes, and Heidi is doing a very good job. Thank you, Heidi. Heidi is amazing. She's doing a good job. I That's almost deleted sad. the Facebook page, this gr the group this week, and she's like, "No, don't delete." Be on here. No! So she kept me, she kept me down. Nice, nice. She kept me calm. Good. Thank you, Heidi. Uh, Kathy says, I keep missing that group. Don't get a notice. You're not doing videos straight to it, are you? I haven't been doing groups as videos in that group only because I've been really sick. So, yeah. No, Deborah, we're not getting double posts, only singles. Yes, Heidi is awesome. We are a big group now, almost 20,000. Wow. Holy moly! I should do a 20,000 giveaway. Wow. Hmm. hmm. Well, I don't mind just sitting here chit-chatting, but we're <coughs> going to have a lot of urgent comments. I should look back and see if there are any other ones. I must have missed the nonsense today. Normally, everyone is really great. Was it good today? I didn't hear. What? I didn't hear you. Did you say there was a bunch of nonsense today in the group? Oh, there was some today, too. Yeah. <laughs> hey, sorry. I could not resist, but apparently Google Maps has the ability to go to different planets. What? So the white picket fence has good business idea for Jack to do. Uh, yeah. Actually, what's funny is Dave, when he was sick, uh, all of his grades tanked at school um, because he just hadn't got it to work. Uh, he hadn't gotten everything completely finished yet. Yeah. But, but he had straight A's in business and marketing. We're like, that's all. I don't care about anything else. If he knows business and marketing, he will make it in life. I was thinking... I think there are important <laughs> things for him to learn, but business and marketing are definitely very important. We're glad to know. Especially yeah. after I, I said I got out of college with a professional skill, but no idea how to actually use it <laughs> to sell it. Uh-oh, sounds like Jamie needs some, some bread. Oh, and it's not a school day tomorrow, so we can't drop some off at her house. Sure we can. We can just drive over there. Well, yeah, I guess we could drive over there. <laughs> uh. Uh, Stephanie's asking, how much is a haircut in Colorado? Because of your, your haircut dilemma. Well, this one, I paid a ridiculous... I paid $37 for this one. <coughs> no, I didn't. It's like I 15. paid $42 for it. Actually, that's cheaper than most of the people I know around here spend. Which, I know it's cheap for a lot of people, but... Okay, stop. But it's more than we usually spend. But... Well, your other one, the one that did really well, did she charge... She was like 20-something... But she totally lopped it off the last time, so I was like, well, I don't want it that short after I told her. So, <laughs> I don't know. I might um, go in and have her... Well, what happened was, I had a cute hairstyle that I really liked. But I told her I'm hairstyling impaired. So, I don't know <laughs> if it'll work for me. And so then, she's like, well, why don't you try this other bob kind of look? And I don't know why I can let her talk me into it because I hate a bob. Bob? I never look good in bobs. They always put it, my face, it, I always put my hair forward and my hair needs to go back. <laughs> oh, Jenna, so, that's in what group? I guess we haven't talked about the group lately. Oh, my Save on Groceries Facebook group. It's a private group, but just ask to join and we will let you join as long as you are nice. I just shared the link in the comments. And if you go to livingonadime.com in the show notes, you can find it there too, in case you don't see it in the comments. We, will, we do not tolerate profanity. Heidi wants to meet your mom. We don't. Mom's not going. Just Mike and I. We don't, we don't tolerate don't offensive deal comments with either. Profanity. We don't deal with offensive comments. Organic. Eating organic is going to cure your diabetes. Eating vegan is going to cure whatever. Eating whatever is going to do whatever. It's just food. The meatarians are fighting with the vegetarians. The organicitarians well, are was fighting something, with the non-organicitarians. Well, sometimes people will start a nice, a nice comment, and then other people will make tacky comments on that, and then other people make tacky comments back, yeah. and pretty soon it's like, <laughs> it's like World War II over here. Come on, <laughs> it's okay, like so Snoopy see, fighting the Red Baron. <laughs> see, I don't like it. See, Mike doesn't no, either. It's nice, it's not, although it's not. it was a little more. It's actually not that bad. It was a little more shapey the other way. So I don't like it. I'm gonna have her ghost. Nancy's asking, "Have we met Heidi? Heard her name, but we need to meet her." Um, she has did a video with me on the on the fa on the Save on Money's Facebook group, on Save on Groceries Facebook group. Oh, and Just, oh. by the way, 
next week I got all the supplies for the great paper towel test for the betterment of mankind 2018. So Yay. here's the thing. How do we simulate puke? I don't think we need to simulate puke. We need to simulate puke. Okay then. Why don't we just use water and test it with water? Because we like to keep it real. We like the real. shock value. We keep it real. Um, Jessica, what flight website do I use again? It's JustFly.com, and I found that for most things, I could get the best price at 7 p.m. Mountain on Tuesday. 7 p.m. Mountain on Tuesday, <coughs> because I guess that's when they, sometime around that time, they they all compare each other's prices and then they lower their prices to compete with each other. So I always look on. They that need day. to give us some free flights for all the advertising we're doing I for know. them. I know. I should actually see. Just fly. Give us some free flights. Sophia likes your hair, your hairstyle we'll, and pair We'll thing. take New Zealand, Australia, maybe Greece. No, I'd like to go to Greece? Israel. Or Israel. I'd be happy to go to any of those places. Israel. Annika said happen. if we went to Israel, their doctors would take care of all of our problems. Probably so. Because they just pray for you. I was just like, come on, you'll be healed. The next day. A mixture of leftover uh, soups. That'd be cool. Veggie soup, cream corn. <laughs> Eggs mixed with cereal and let it soak a bit. You. <laughs> Let's see. Bring Heidi on Let's the show. Let's see. Oh, oh my. Dave, can you do the great paper towel test for the betterment of mankind well, 2018? Hold on. Dave's going to show you guys. Here we go. Hold on just a second. Uh, Hopefully it'll doing? stay right they won't hear there. You. They won't hear you over there, but they can hear you over here, Jack. <laughs> well, all right. Jack made the tower. <laughs> Pretty good looking there. Can't really go over because the wire's only <coughs> still on. That's about as far as I can go. Man. Oh, you want to see the cat too? Cat's right there. Gently. Uh, yes, Wendy. We are going to get more group mods now that we're getting bigger. So. Hey, I could be a mod. On Facebook? Yeah, it's just hard to get group mods. It's, it's hard to catch it all because <laughs> Heidi and I don't want to sit on Facebook for all day long. Well, and unfortunately, <laughs> mo Facebook is more complicated on the moderators than YouTube. YouTube, yeah. it's pretty easy to add someone, and it's pretty easy mm -hmm. for them to do it. Facebook is more complicated. What on earth are we talking about? Which thing were Whatever we talking we about? Whatever we feel like at the oh, moment. Oh, probably the... The Great Paper Towel Test for the Betterment of Mankind 2018 was what we were just oh. talking about. Yes. Oh, it's because everybody's saying blended spaghetti. <laughs> they're, they're giving all these oh, crazy Oh, that's great. Topics. Oh, wait. Creamed peas with oatmeal. Oh, that's good. I could add a little bit of yellow food coloring. Oh, my goodness. Chunky apple So sauce. here's the thing. Who's going to put that in their mouth and hurl it? Mm. So we have an effective spew oh, now pattern. I draw the line. I just, I just, we can throw some sound effects in there and... So we have an effective spew pattern. What's funny is having kids, it just, I mean, I know many of you have kids, but it just changes things when you have kids. You start to recognize all kinds of things that other people wouldn't get. You have a good evening too, Linda. Pick me, pick me, I'm acting 18 today. Kelly. <laughs> Yeah, and actually most people are really, really good on there. Julie so says the food in Greece is amazing. See, I think we should go to Greece for the summer. <laughs> we have a lot of places we're going this summer, aren't we? We probably won't well, go to any of them. be awesome if we could. Wow, that's a tower. <laughs> Anyone like the cat? Uh, All right. The kids do. <laughs> Just, actually, he's that's, doing better now. We love that. Uh, vanilla pudding with small amounts of peas, corns, and carrots. Oh, Amy, that's a good idea. Jonathan, Florida Singularity says, if you want to go to Greece or Israel, you know I can get you set up. Man. So Jonathan uh, does a travel arrangement with, a, he has a friend and they do, they arrange yeah. tours. What? So. Hmm. <laughs> All Cut right. Cut me more bread. Yeah. Are you starving? Okay. Yes, Wendy. <laughs> yes, yeah, some things you cannot unsee. Rebecca says, poor Mike, so right about kids, some things you cannot unsee. Although what's funny about that is all the things where, where the kids are like, ew, that's gross, ew, that's gross. I'm thinking, you know what, if you've had a kid and you've changed diapers, then you have a much higher standard for gross. <laughs> you realize, oh, that's not going to kill me. Mm. You should go to the Czech Republic cheap and the food is so good. Actually, I've heard it's really awesome <clears> there. Are they trying to kill us there? No. Oh, phew. The Czech Republic is very friendly to us, I think. Wasn't well, uh, that close to Russia? 
Aren't they trying to kill us? Are they trying to kill us now, or are they not trying to kill so us? I don't know. I never know people. from one month to the next. I think we'd be fine there. You're classifying people by if they're next to Russia or not. <laughs> um, yeah. So I can hear Tara saying, "What in the world? Uh, what the world needs is more salt people." Yeah, Let's no see. kidding. Uh, uh, all right, guys. We will see you on Monday. Just make sure we didn't miss anything here. I am. Yeah. Oh, see, somebody said we should have done diarrhea for the pa for the toilet paper. Well, I think we no, should do that next. No, no. Maybe it'll make a this difference. This is a family show, people. This is a family show, people. Get that's it Mike's. Together, people. That's Mike's new statement. I, I don't know. <laughs> somebody was asking about Buster. I put him in the in the office with Jack because. He's standing right here underneath Tara, and he just pushes his way in like a pack of rabbit dogs. Yeah. <laughs> and I trip over him during the show is the so, problem. So I don't want to dump something like hot oil or, or why? hot pan on him Well, lately show, we've so. left him out of the room because he'll just kind of <clears throat> lay patiently over there out of the way. But today he was right underneath Tara's feet, and I had to scoop him out three or four times. But then, of course... He'll go in the back room and he knows if he makes all kinds of crazy noises that everyone's going to say in the comments, What's wrong with Buster? Oh, Ashley, eggs mixed with cereal and let it soak a bit. Ew. Ah, that's, oh, this is going to be ready. fun. I still think we need to have the spew pattern, though. Mm -hmm. I think the spew pattern matters. Oh. No, we, we don't want to gross everybody out. It's going to cut our numbers down. Okay, guys, start <laughs> eating grapes. Uh, well, good night, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. Have a good night. Please visit us at livingonadime.com. Please buy our cookbook, Dining on a Dime. And Save our... money and eat better. And talk about the Kindle book. And Cause... buy our How to Make Homemade Bread ebook if you want luscious homemade bread like this. It's only $2.99, so you and can't beat that. it's only $2.99, and we have a ton of great recipes in there. It is a Kindle book, but you can get an app there for free to yeah. you to look at it on any device. So yay. And we are going to go enjoy our weekend. I am sleeping in all weekend. Woohoo! I don't care who comes home from work needing to go to the emergency room. <laughs> They're just going to have to wait. You know, the bigger kids are still kids, right? <laughs> So I Mary Beth says the cookbook is the best. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Mary Beth. <clears throat> All right. All right, see you guys later. Thanks, bye. bye.